Hi guys, welcome back to the news. Our Nigerian politicians would never cease to amaze me. Imagine Daniel Buala, a whole Daniel Buala, who is a chieftain of the opposition party, the People's Democratic Party, recently committed to playing his own part to support the administration of President Bola Admetinibo. We all know Daniel Buala to be the campaign spokesperson for the candidate of the PDP in the 2023 presidential election, Atiku Abubakar. He said he made no apologies for his position, adding that if his support for Tinibu would lead to his defection from PDP to the ruling All Progressive Congress, then so be it. Daniel Buala, who met with Tinibu behind closed doors at the State House in Abuja on Wednesday, told correspondents that he is committing to playing his own part to support the administration of President Bolad Metinibu, and he has no apologies to anybody. He owes no apology to anybody, not even his own party, the People's Democratic Party, nor to Atiku Abubakar, the former presidential candidate of the party. He said that APC is a party, President Bolad Metinibu is his motivation. So if supporting Tinibu would take him to APC, so be it. He doesn't care. He doesn't give a hoot whatsoever. And in the most surprising twist of events, this is someone that once said in September 2023, where he described the 100 days in office of President Bola Admet Tinibu as uneventful, calling him all sort of names, calling on him to focus on building Nigeria rather than embarking on his so-called diplomatic trips for photo ops. Imagine, he even said that uh, President Bola Admet Tinibu's administration was still governoring in poetry, adding that the administration had abandoned its manifesto of securing Nigeria to go on foreign trips for photo ops. Daniel Buala stated this in an interview with Arise News, adding that what the government had termed as achievement could be seen as just, you know, nothing of their perception of what they call achievement. Because in the last hundred days, according to Daniel Boala, if you asked any Nigerian, they would tell you that nothing has significantly changed in their lives. Now, speaking on the recent business trips that Tinibu took to India and Dubai, Daniel Boala claimed that since the government had nothing to show uh, domestically, so going on a foreign uh, diplomatic trip was to curry the, fa- the, the flavor and to, you know, accolades of the international space. He described the president's trip to India for the G20 summit as a global picnic, saying that nothing much was achieved at the summit due to the absence of both Russia and China. He also said at the meeting that President Tinibu who went along with the Nigerian businessmen, held with the various businessmen and investors in in India, did not result in definite conclusions. Daniel Bwala made a lot of statements. He said the investments were nothing, mentioning monies that could not be verified, either by the investors themselves, either through a joint statement, through their website, through their personal social media handle. So everything... They say they secured as investment plans or promised could only be established by themselves. There is no word from any investor in India that they actually committed to such. This was what Daniel Bwala was saying at this point, that he did not see any investments from India. He did not see anything. All what he saw was just photo ops here and there and statements. There were no specific, uh, there were no specific you know, details. There were no deliverables. There were no timelines, nothing, nothing, no documents to prove to Nigerians that there were investments that were being made. This man really spoke bad about the president. This man spoke bad about the manifesto of the president. This man really condemned the president and the APC for their works and what, you know, they've achieved. According to him, they've achieved nothing in their past years. And now, guys, you'll be shocked that this same person recently made a statement that he would do well to serve the president. He never even mentioned serving Nigeria as a nation. He talked about the president. So this is more like an eye service. Guys, this statement is coming as Don Yokupe 
exited the Labour Party just a few days back. Guys, something is happening. Something is really, really happening. Because at this point, the political party, that's the PDP, would react to this statement. And they won't find this statement funny at all, at all. They won't find it funny. This is really interesting. Because at this point, the PDP would definitely question his motives of, you know, committing to President Bolad Metinibu, irrespective of the party's ideologies of the president. So this was not, you know, um, surprising because at this point, our Nigerian politicians, they tend to play a lot of games, you know, after the presidential election. There were intense uh, competition between the political parties to retain or gain supporters. You see that the Labour Party, people are decamping. People are leaving the Labour Party. Look at the recent departure of Dunyo Kupe, who switched his alliance, you know. He was once in an APC, and then he switched to the Labour Party. Now he has decamped from the Labour Party. So who knows what party he would be in. Here we have Daniel Buala, who was once in the APC. He switched to the PDP, and now he's talking about going back to the APC. So, guys, Nigerians are already raising questions. People are saying, Daniel Buala, are you going to the APC or not? Don't just cut through the corners. You have to tell us the truth. Don't sugarcoat the statement. You they go APC, I be need to go. Because it's obvious, the handwriting is already written on the wall that, yes, he's out to the come to the APC. I guess Daniel Buala was just patiently waiting for the Supreme Court to give its final verdict if it would favor his own presidential candidate. I'm talking about Atiku Abubakar. He was just patient, trying to, you know, calculate if it would be in their favor. But it's obvious that the Supreme Court did not give judgment in favor of the PDP. And now he has decided to play his game, you know, to sing song of praise towards the president, to gain favor or appointment. Who knows? Because most of these are politicians. They are very funny and corny at the same time. And now Daniel Buala has started singing song of praise to the president, someone he once condemned, someone he made a whole lot of statements about, talking about how Tinibu has achieved nothing as a president since he entered office. So, guys, this is just serious. So, my country people, what are your thoughts on this? Because at this point, if we get to see that Daniel Buala has decamped, then we won't be surprised. So, fellow Nigerians have said, trust and follow Nigerian politician at your own risk. Let's join hands together towards building a better Nigeria. We need more hands to build Nigeria. Our politicians know their games very well and they know how to play their games now Tinibu knows how best to get his kings on his chessboard unchecked at this point if you don't win you join them guys these are reactions from Nigerians I'm dropping here kindly share your thoughts on this in the comment section thank you